Live Magazine TV and the beautiful Coachella Valley, California, where people come to work and play. Find us on Facebook and YouTube. Elizabeth Scarcella visits with Rose King at her home in Rancho Mirage. Back in Palm Springs, Tony Marchese heads to his restaurant, Trio, for a chat with Dr. Jeff Olson. Jeff has been in Hollywood all day, making people pretty. Driving back to Palm Springs, Jeff and Tony agree to meet up and try their August craft cocktail, the Watermelon Delight. Levy Kerber and Julie Ragsdale take us back to Rancho Mirage for a visit with Jerry Keller at his restaurant in Agua California Bistro at the river. Today I'm going to work turquoise for you. Oh my I gosh. I love turquoise. I do too. Yeah. and I Look at all these dresses. I know. I'm addicted. <laughs> Look at turquoise. I tried that one on. Mm -hmm. Little snug, but I think I'm going to wear this turquoise one today. Just for you girls. Oh good. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Every single color. Every single dress I have in here. <laughs> and how did you figure that out? Well, when I buy a, a, a dress, right then and there, I find out the color, and I just it just registers in my brain. Like I know this one's electric blue, right? And I can go through several of them and tell you the color. And I sew a lot, so I kind of alter it. Uh, alter, uh, alter, alteration. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I do alterations on my dresses. This one has black with flowers. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love dancing up. I'm just a little girl at heart. I am too. I love, yeah. love, love. This is black with flowers. Yes. I love a lot. I, a lot of my dresses have flowers. I see. A lot of them. Mm hmm So this is like an off-white with flowers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to get dressed. Okay. okay. We'll be right back. All righty. Okay. See you soon.
Get a three-course dinner for just $19.99. Trio! We're always happy to see you. Trio, where Palm Springs eats. <gasps> wow! It's Bud Light Lime and Orange season! Saddle my horse, you guys can walk. Bud Light Lime and Bud Light Orange, brewed with real citrus peels. Just blow dries will blow you away. Join us for an experience that will leave you feeling sassy and sexy. Just blow dries on El Paseo. Open seven days a week. Hi, I'm John Thoman from JSJ Stained Glass. I'm making these hummingbirds, selling them for about $100. I will have eight charities for each month selling these beautiful hummingbirds for $100. 30% goes to their charity of their choice. so excited so this is rose king everybody and if you didn't know rose is without vision she is not without sight she is without vision isn't that true that's so true yes and as you know as i told you my the segment of my show is called thrive mm -hmm. why just survive when you can thrive that's right and you are the epitome of thriving <laughs> thank you not many people would take their life on like this after they've lost their vision. Can you tell us a little bit about that and, and what helped you to know that you wanted to keep moving forward and not just survive this medical situation? I was diagnosed when I was 27 years old with an eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa. And the doctor told me I had maybe about five years of sight, if that and for me to get some sort of help, resources on how to deal with blindness. And at the time, I had a four-month-old and a five-year-old baby. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And then when did your sight go away? It took about 13 years. It went gradually. I was 40 years old when I, the last time I was able to see. And at what point in this did you decide that you were going to thrive through this and not just melt down and, and become, you know, not have a full life? At what point At what point did you know that you were going to be a thriver and not just survive the situation and melt down and not have a full life? I believe when my oldest son was also diagnosed with this debilitating disease, he was diagnosed at 12. Wow. And I knew then, that's when I knew, that I had to do something. I had to be his stepping stone for him as a young child to thrive and continue to live his life without sight. I knew it was difficult for him. And especially being a male, usually men are, you know, they're the ones that go out and work and provide for the family. And I knew it was more difficult for him. So I had to talk to him, encourage him, and he had to see that I was persevering in my life. And uh, he took that. He took everything I did thriving and he's become a wonderful, successful young man. Wow, he's a producer, I hear. No, that's my other son. Now oh. he doesn't have the eye disease. He's my youngest son. My oldest son, he is a well-known massage therapist here in the valley. Wow. I got him into massage right out of high school because I knew he was going to lose his sight and he needed a profession to work with his hands. So. That is so great. That mm -hmm. is so great. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you do with your life besides help other people 
do well. Um, I hear that you have a book. Yes. Tell me about your book. Well, first question is how, what do I do besides, you know, uh, take care of your son? Yes. I am, um, I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I, I believe because I was on both sides of the spectrum, being with sight and being with outside, and I just knew that I needed to do things with outside. I decided to, first thing I decided to do, because people kept telling me that I was very pretty, very beautiful, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not, you know, but one day I walked over to a, a modeling school and I just walked in and said to the agent, do you think I have it to be a model? And she looked at me and says, where have you been hiding? So that's where I started my first career as a model. Wow. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe me, a model, as a person without sight. And I did run away without sight. I couldn't believe it. But I did it. I was on top of the world at the time. Then I decided to go back to college and I got my license as a drug and alcohol counselor. Wow, you mm -hmm. did? I did, I used to counsel women all the time. Uh, I worked for the county way back when. And then after that, I just, I just, it was nonstop for me. I was just accomplishing all kinds of goals. I had goals set. And the first thing I remember, I said, I wanna be out in the world and I needed help. I needed a sighted person, but then I decided a guide dog. So wow. I went out and, and I got a guide dog and I was on the buses, I was all over town, I was in the mall shopping with my guide dog. Wow, and do you still have a guide dog? No, I retired her, oh, I would say about five years ago. She got hip dysplasia. She was a beautiful German shepherd and I decided no more. I'll just use sighted people. <laughs> So, okay, now I understand that you have a very exciting project that is launching very soon. Please tell us about that. Well, years ago, back in 1995, I created a blind little bunny and I made her into a character describing myself as a blind person. And uh, it's a children's book and uh, it, it's kind of reaching out to people that don't know about disabilities because I know, because me being on both sides of the spectrum, that people have a hard time with people with disabilities. And I'm teaching children that it's okay to reach out and say hello to someone that has a disability because a lot of kids don't know how to handle and it starts from childhood, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I created Wozy, the blind little bunny. Aww. Yeah. And, and how she's right she, here on the table with yes. us. Yes. And how she meets Bobo the bear. And Bobo befriends her and helps her through the forest and helps her get food and stuff like that. And it's an adorable little story. And it's being launched out. And um, you, you can get it on Amazon. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all you people, you guys have to go get Wozy, the blind little bunny book. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what is your favorite pastime? Oh, my gosh. I know a lot of my friends can vouch for this one. I love dancing. <laughs> I love music and I love dancing and I love dressing and I love shopping. Yeah. That's my pastime. Okay, all right, I'm right with you. <laughs> That's my pastime. Yes, I have a I enjoy life to the fullest. I don't let my disability hinder me at all. That I, is so amazing. At all. I go out there and I I, I carry my, like I told my son, carry yourself proud. We didn't ask for this hand in life. Carry yourself proud when you're out there. And that's what I do. I walk in a room, a lot of people know I can't see, but I carry myself proud. Because I am here to teach those about people like myself and to inspire. That is exactly what a thriver is. Mm -hmm. Rose, thank you so much. I really, really am amazed what you are able to teach so many people. Thank you. What a privilege and honor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for you girls coming in and, and uh, seeing my life, my world, as a visual impaired person. 
Thank you. You're welcome. And we'll be right back with Live Magazine TV. Hey, did you ever hear from Michelob Ultra? I got it. So I'm training for this big role. It's a Michelob Ultra commercial. I'm the spokesman. I am Captain Michelob. I like beer! So sorry. This is yours. And relax. You gotta be fit. You gotta love Michelob Ultra. It's not like anyone else could do this. Name? Pardon? What is your name? Chris Pratt. Over there, bud. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Wangs in the Desert. Wangs in the Desert features and seeks out leading and cutting edge entertainers from the Coachella Valley and beyond. Entertainment every night with a bevy of talent. Happy hour, seven nights a week. Call 760-325-9264 for dinner. Stop by for a bite. Eat, drink, and be entertained all night. At Wangs, the coolest place in the desert. Brunch a go-go from 10 a.m. Saturday and Sunday. The happiest happy hour, 11 to 7 daily. Get a three-course dinner for just $19.99. Trio! We're always happy to see you. Trio, where Palm Springs eats. Dr. Jeff Olson here. We are in downtown Los Angeles. I had a wonderful day making people beautiful in LA as I do. And now we're off to Palm Springs. We're going to talk to Tony Marchese of Trio. And uh, so we're getting on the road and going to enjoy talking to him about how he motivates people and, and uh, trust building in his business and how he's become a great success for Coachella Valley. Stay tuned. Brunch a go go from 10 a.m. Saturday and Sunday. The happiest happy hour, 11 to 7 daily. Get a three course dinner for just $19.99. Trio! We're always happy to see you. Trio, where Palm Springs eats. Hey, Tony, I'm here. Ready for me? Hey Jeff. Yeah, come on in. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Hi folks. How are you? Hey, how are you? Casey, and uh, first of all, cheers. Cheers. Great to see you. You too. Talking about Casey of Trio Restaurant, of course, that we all know and love Thank for you. years and years. Yeah. And you just got back from Spain. Barcelona. Oh my gosh. Wonderful oh, city. It's amazing. It's my first time. And it was great. The weather was great. The restaurants were amazing. Uh, people were nice. It was, it was a lovely time. Yeah. Yeah. How long? And now you? I'm back. Uh, nice. 10 days. Nice. I uh, went to a small hotel called Sitges as well. And that was... Thank you for pronouncing that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, and it was great. So now I'm back in the desert and we're ready to roll. Yeah. And so speaking of that, ready to roll and getting your team ready for fall, which is just around the corner. Yeah. Normally every we summer we, te we create like a team building. So yeah. we haven't actually planned something this year, but we'll probably do it in September. But in the past, we 
We've gone anywhere from I've sent my managers to Tony Robbins seminar for a weekend. Wow. Yeah, that was a big expense, but it was worth it. It was great <laughs> to have the staff really experience what I've experienced in my past. Yeah. Because um, I've done a lot of Tony Robbins work. And then we've done anything from learn how to do the trapeze, be a trapeze artist. That what? was fun. Yeah, Where? we Santa Monica Pier and flew around. It was crazy. It's like Battle of the Network Stars. Like. Yeah. wanted me on that show yeah. forever. Oh yeah. God. No, it was fun. Uh, we've done uh, the escape room, we've done paintballing, yeah. going to the power of baseball game. So I think it's important that, you know, we all work together. We're, we're at that restaurant more than we are at our home and our family. So we must yeah. create a family atmosphere at Trio. And it's it's fun for me to intermix with the staff, and it's fun for the staff to work together with each other. And I mean, it's always been a really fun experience for everybody. Yeah, yeah. You know, it creates, I think it creates longevity, I think it creates loyalty. That, you know, I'm spending time with them, and we're spending money, and, and, and just right. helping them. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, I want to be on your staff. Thank you, man. Sure. <laughs> I'll give you a shirt. I'll give you a shirt. Right. shirt. You're ready to go. <laughs> Is there any inherent reason, like in a resort town, where there might be more turnover with staff that you think is more important? Well, yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, you know, Palm Springs there's only so many people to draw from, and so if you have a good staff, one, it costs you money to train these staff, so you don't want them to go. Every year, you want to see that it's possible. So, uh, for a long time, we had like five people that worked with us from the beginning, almost nine years, and we still have a couple. But we have, a lot of them are between three and four and five years, which yeah. is good. Yeah, you know. So, um, traditionally, you know, nobody leaves unless something happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's they've been very blessed. That's good for you. That's yeah. amazing. Did you have? Uh, Experience with that in other fields, so you did real estate in Chicago. Yeah, real estate was a big, big team building thing. Yeah. It was a sales, you know, I'm a salesman at heart, so I feel like, you know, I provide food, the servers sell the food to you, and the bartenders sell you drinks, and that's what the whole motivation is. I mean, I actually give incentives to my staff to sell the most wine, oh, yeah. the more specials. Oh, yeah, where they, they, if they win every category, they can win an extra $700 a month. Whoa, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's not just a bottle of wine. No, no, it's, yeah, yeah, it's just they have to sell so many, and we have a couple of champions that sell over 100 bottles of wine just in one person wow. ourselves. Yeah, Amazing. so it's it's so because I'm a salesman, I like to you know, if you're doing a good job, you're selling the most, and you should get something for it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's, it's, it's how Trio's always been run <laughs> from day one. <laughs> Well, next I predict we'll do an obstacle course, like in the park. <laughs> that would be fun. Trio staff, <laughs> and you can wear a little orange uh, that would be speedos fun. and tank tops. I don't yeah. know. You know, it's a year <laughs> tomorrow that we had a small fire at Trio. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. And the thing about loyalty is that fire happened at four in the morning, and I had 20 minutes staff here by seven. Wow. Don't want to redo that moment. <laughs> right, exactly. I mean, that, yeah, the fire's not great. <laughs> yeah, but, but it shows loyalty. I mean, they were there. Smart. People call each other. They got out there. They cleaned it up. As soon as we can get in, we got the stuff cleaned up, and we were, you know, yeah. on our way to try to recover it. So it was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Amazing. Yeah. Well, good luck with uh, Thank you. everything. Thank you. And Thanks for the chat. Content. Hi, I'm John Thoman. You're watching Live Magazine TV. Where are you guys? Get in here now. Find yourself downtown Palm Springs, California at the award-winning Pan Asian Museum. What are you having? I love the Ahi tuna. 
the usual orange chicken. Any suggestions? The dog is awesome. I'll take that. Enjoy. Cheers to Wang. Come to Lulu, the award-winning California bistro. Fabulous breakfast, a luscious three-course Sunday brunch, scrumptious dinners serving fresh fish, perfect steaks, pizzas, salads, and more. Something for everyone. A three-course special to savor from $15.99. The best all-day and night happy hour. There's always a party at Lulu in the heart of downtown Palm Springs on South Palm Canyon and Arenas. Here we are at Aqua California Bistro in Rancho Mirage with the wonderful Jerry Keller. Jerry, when did you decide to open up this restaurant? Well, it was um, about 15 years ago when we opened up the first Aqua Plaza here. Mm -hmm. Well, Jerry, you help out quite a lot of people in town, myself included. And I'd like to know, when did you first begin to realize that you had such a um, following, you had uh, an ability to help other people out in the community? Getting back to charity a little bit with the restaurants. Barbara is like everybody's hero in town, but you're kind of like her hero in a way. I can see you like the double heroes or something, because you're both just so appreciated in Palm Springs and in the entire valley. Well, that's nice. Um, it's not something that we try to do. Mm -hmm. It's something that we should do. That's right. It's something like we love to do. Um, Barbara, as you know, is the deeply involved with those at AIDS projects with the Palm Springs Art Museum. Mm -hmm. and lots of interesting lots of good charities. So 100 women. The, the list kind of goes on and on with Barbara. List, but Barbara not only talks about it, she does it. Yeah. We're able to do this. And people like you guys who have a lovely, lovely magazine. Oh, thank you. Um, help a lot. So you spread the word about everything. It's a good word to spread. Yeah. Yeah. I love to spread good news. I know That's what I'm about. You guys have a labor of love on your own. It is. It is a labor of love. 13 years is running pretty good time here. Yeah. So I was also noticing the art here. There's a lot of great art from that. Curry Menendez and Barbara's father. He actually does two or three a week still. Mm -hmm. He's 105 in two months. Yeah. And we need a couple more walls, so we need a couple more walls to be built. So yeah, they'll be he on does their way. a couple of weeks. So he does, yeah, he does two a week, and he, you know, he does great stuff. He has a good time doing it. Looks like talent kind of runs in the Keller family there. Right? Yeah, at and least I, on Barbara's side. Okay, now, well, <laughs> you have a grandson that performed at one of the Steve Chase Awards. And yeah. He was eight or nine or ten, maybe. Yeah. What an amazing voice that young man is going to go places. He really is. He's very smart, very focused. And also very nice. And, uh, yeah, we have, we're lucky to have a bunch of great grandkids wow, and a bunch of kids. How many do you have, Jerry? Seven grandkids and four kids. Wow! Now you're talking to being blessed. That's being blessed right there. Yeah, they really are. They're all they're all doing well. Mm -hmm.